Hi, this is Steve Sokol, and I'm live at uh, Oshkosh 2021. And we're here exhibiting uh, a new product. Actually, it's been out for a couple of years now. It's called Flight View, and it's an ethos that's built in a slightly different way. We've actually taken a different approach. We use off-the-shelf parts where we can to keep costs down, and we're using an iPad as the primary display for it. So you take the iPad, uh, a custom mount that we've built if you want, which has cooling built in, um, a little bar that we've added on, which gives you the ability to control it without having to deal with the touch screen in the bumps, it's knobs and buttons, and then a series of small boxes that weigh about four pounds total that go behind the panel. And that's really all you need. The four boxes are an engine monitor, an air data interface, and then our primary flight data computer, which has the attitude sensors for AHARS. That gives you pretty much everything that you need for a set of instruments for a VFR aircraft. Uh, price starts at $1,500 without the engine monitor, $2,000 with the engine monitor, and the, uh, the mount kit and the flight bar together are 350 or separately $200 a piece. So the way the system's set up, you actually can configure the screens as you see fit based on your needs. Right now it's all in uh, landscape mode, but you can set it up for full screen PFD, full screen MFD, split screen MFD, PFD, and we have an engine bar which sits across the bottom optionally if you have the engine monitor enabled. Uh, an upcoming version is going to actually add a half screen engine monitor page so you can have one uh, iPad serving as your PFD and a second one serving as the MFD and engine monitor with larger display uh, gauges. This is really compatible with any iPad that uh, supports iOS 13 or later. We really recommend some of the, the newer ones and in this case we're actually running at the show uh, a set of um, iPad Air 4s, which is the latest version of the iPad Air. Runs uh, between five and five ninety nine, depending on where you find it. And you can use even the basic model of it, so you don't have to have a lot of additional memory or, or uh, you know, the fancy um, cellular interface on it if you don't want. The system's really configurable, and we've built it so that that's actually fairly easy to do. You're not having to mess with configuration files or anything. You simply go into a screen where we set up all the config, and you're able to turn on and off alerts. You're able to enable and disable various features, turn on integrations for autopilots, for uh, various comm radios, transponders. So we've got all of that sort of built directly into the app. The app, by the way, is now available in uh, the uh, App Store from Apple. So if you want to try it out, there's a 30-day free trial available. So we've tried to make it as easy as possible for people to get in and, and reconfigure if needed. So if you're in flight and you suddenly decide, oh, I really would prefer to have uh, a map, there's a couple of options. We can tap this button and you wind up with the, uh, the overlay map that we can add on there. If you really want a full screen, or a, I should say half, half screen map, you can go in here and go to display and then just uh, go to split screen. And immediately you have now, the, uh, the complete map display with terrain. If you don't need terrain, and Wisconsin doesn't need much terrain, you can uh, toggle that right off so you have a little bit bigger map display. Uh, if for some reason or other it was more convenient to have these swap the other direction, we can go back in here into display and do swap and reconfigure where they, uh, they line up. So the system has uh, integrations for transponders and comm radios. So if you want to configure your transponder, pop up the button, you know, punch in your squawk code, and if they tell you to ident, just tap the button. You can tell up here on the uh, upper right-hand corner that it's identing by the green uh, color. Get out of that, we'll switch over to comm radio. And here we see we're looking at uh, the Unicom for some location. If you want, you can bring up nearby locations. We'll find uh, some location that's near uh, Multicom. So not a whole lot on this one, but in general, you'll have a whole list of buttons. We can also let's go in here and pull up, if you have a flight plan loaded, all the frequencies that are relevant to your flight plan, including uh, it automatically determines based on which end of the uh, leg you're at as to which frequencies are more relevant and orders them as appropriate. And then of course you can just tap the emergency button to, uh, let's go back here. You can tap the emergency button to go straight to uh, 121.5. Uh, we also support uh, autopilots. So our advanced autopilot integrates with the TrueTrack um, Vision or Bendix King X screws. And if you bring that up and enable it, you're actually able to directly control the autopilot from the EFIS. The system actually comes with a 16-channel uh, thermocouple interface, so you can put eight um, EGTs and eight CHTs on there, or you can use it for turbine intake temp and other things like that. You can get more information at falconavionics.com, that's F-A-L-K-E-N avionics.com, um, and from there you'll be able to find downloads, you'll be able to try out the application, and again, thanks for watching.